In the northeastern part of Himachal Pradesh, high in the Himalayas sits the cold desert valley of Spiti. A seemingly barren land that is home to the mysterious and elusive snow leopard among other species of fauna. A land of winding roads, breathtaking valleys and snow-capped mountains as far as the eyes can see, Spiti is truly a magnificent sight for our city sore eyes. Top that off with the recent spike in snow leopard sightings in the area and it is now a land that is a must visit for any wildlife and travel enthusiast alike. For beholding the sight of an animal shrouded in such mystery in a land so beautiful is sure to be a legendary experience. A decade ago, when I returned from one such wildlife photography expedition in Ladakh, one of my Facebook followers asked me if I spotted the snow leopard. I was amazed by the unrealistic expectation back then. Today, that is far from being unrealistic and in fact, one of the most common questions asked to anyone returning from the mountains, especially if they venture into these areas in the peak of winter. Snow leopards are big cats that have adapted to altitudes that will leave us gasping for air if we don't take precautionary measures and acclimatize adequately. A region in the Spiti Valley consisting of villages like Kaza, Ki and Kibber amongst other little settlements are arguably the best spots in India to find and photograph these elusive cats. Our expedition starts from the big city of Chandigarh while traveling gradually up the mountains for nearly three days to ascend over 14,000 feet, that's approximately 4,200 meters above sea, bringing us to this beautiful village of Kibber. A few hundred people live in Kibber throughout the year and a few dozen tourists may be seen in Kibber during the winter in search of the famed cat. We spend nearly a week in the simple yet cozy homestays that offer traditional style of heating inside during the harsh winter which can reach 25 degrees minus on some nights. Apart from adequate clothing, medical attention and mental preparation, participants of this tour are expected to be able to carry themselves in the sloped terrain climbing a few hundred meters every day. While every participant of the group will be assigned a porter to carry heavy camera gear and support the hikes up to the ridges, it is surely not one of the easiest wildlife excursions one can undertake. Ideally, one has to prepare for this expedition a few months in advance, which I guess will make life very easy when in the battleground. Like they say, the more you sweat during peace, the lesser you will bleed during war. It is surely the right thing to do to prepare for this trip by keeping oneself very active and practice climbing as and when possible. Usually, super telephoto lenses like the 600mm are recommended for this expedition while animals like the ibex and blue sheep can also be photographed from a relatively closer distance. Landscape enthusiasts will enjoy the sheer beauty of this valley as well. If you are someone who has photographed big cats in India and Africa like the tigers, leopards, lions and cheetahs, it's perhaps a great value add for you to not just witness one of the most magnificent cats in the wild but also photograph them on this guided expedition. My colleagues and I will ensure you get the right advice and assistance on and off the field and also in preparation for this expedition. Well, gone are the days when you watch a wildlife documentary and admire how a snow leopard is photographed sitting inside a hide waiting for them to show up for days. Today, it is possible to sight them from respectable distances and capture their pictures even on a mobile device sometimes. So if this proposition excites you and you'd like to be one of the few wildlife photographers or wildlife lovers who are privileged to have seen the grey ghost of the Himalayas, then sign up for this trip or talk to me or my capable colleagues to know more. I hope to see you in the Himalayas on the Unsiya Odyssey.